in this tutorial we're going to be running performance profiling tests on the Picasso image loading library using our recycle view grid gallery application Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. So in this tutorial we're going to be testing out profiling testing on using the Picasso image loading library on our grid gallery. The grid gallery is running on a Nexus 4 and we've got over 100 images as we've done with the previous test. So there's a fair bit of loading and pressure we're putting on that. So we just want to see what's happening under the scenes. So as usual we're going to be running trace view first. So let's start trace view. Now I'll go back to Android Studio and start up the application. Application started, let's go to Trace View, select the application. Right now we're going to start method profiling. So let's start scrolling. If loading on that. Down at the bottom, let's scroll back up to the top and stop our method profiling let's have a look at the results okay we've got these picasso idols i would assume that the background thread falls background threads running there so we've got three of them running here one two three and if we click on that, as you can see, there's decoding the native stream, exactly what we saw with Glide and the, our own optimizations here. So we've got these three background threads running here that, that are called Picasso Idle. And as you can see here, because we've got a number of threads doing the background work here, we can continually keep updating the main UI thread. Uh, the user's not going to have stopped doing anything because we've got all these background threads happening here. Um, I'm counting three idols here. Interesting enough, Picasso used four. So we've got three for Picasso. So um, that's an interesting difference to point out there. So that's, that's the main difference what we can see here. Otherwise, the main UI thread running here is just the interpret my interpreted performance of keeping scrolling. If I stop scrolling, it means nothing's happening. So I'm thinking, oh, what's going on here? And so um, this looks comparable to Glide. Um, we we'll have to compare them at the very end of this whole series, but this, this looks, looks okay. And we're just utilizing three background threads here. Right, let's move on to the next test. So I'm gonna rerun this application. because I wanna see what the starting memory allocation is. So let's select the memory tab. So we're starting with 16 megabytes. I think um, Picasso might have been around 10. Okay, so it's already, maybe it's got a larger cache and you would expect better performance from that. Definitely if you increase the cache size, it's a consideration. Um, you will get better performance, but it's a trade-off if you're gonna affect the performance of the, of the applications running in other environment. Anyway, let's scroll down. Okay, we've got up to 39 megabytes. So gliders consume off at default gliders consuming a fair bit of memory, but we're getting quite good performance off this. So we're up to 41 megabytes. Okay, nice big cache I'd say there. Now let's do a initiate initiate a garbage collection. And that drops down to 34. Okay, so we can see already uh, Picasso seems to be utilizing a fair bit more um, memory than Glide, um, but you, you'd expect to see a, 
bit of performance increase and it's using one less thread background thread as well okay all right let's move on to the next test so i'll start screen recording so we're going to check out the uh, how long it takes to render a graphics frame select developer options scroll down to the bottom then back up a little bit to get to monitoring then select profile GPU rendering let's go to our application so here we have the rendering of the application and again it's the green horizontal line we want to take note of as it uses a reference so we're scrolling down there's a little bit one frame or two or three frames take a little bit longer but nothing too bad scroll back up again and let's scroll back down again remember there are over a hundred full-size images at the scattery sampling and back up and nothing wrong with the visual look of this and I'm only seeing a few frames taking longer to render uh, longer than the 16 millisecond range so it sort of looks okay using Picasso okay so that was a profile testing using the Picasso image loader library okay so we're going to have I think it's this got another two more tests to run after this so keep following this tutorial series and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to be notified of all the changes and as you can see we've got my social media links as well so we've, uh, if you like um, you can follow me on Twitter I've got a Facebook and I've got other social media accounts to that so check out those if you want to as well that's all for this one bye for now if you're wondering why I'm smiling is we've got some interesting rendering results going on here uh, it's completely off the display <laughs> that's right to the top of my display